one of the most common questions I get asked is like, uh, how do I prompt? <laughs> how do I learn how to prompt? What's a good prompt? You know, what are all the different types of prompts that I can have? And of course, uh, there are lots of resources online to learn how to do this, but the most obvious and most simple is right in front of you. That's to ask Gemini how to teach you how to prompt. G'day, g'day, Scott Gallant Lee here, CEO of IT Genius. I went to a new chat and said, hey, teach me how to prompt like a master. Create a five-step course and a cheat sheet for me. And sure enough, here we go. Five-step course to prompting like a master. And it's given me those five steps that I can learn. And it's given me a little cheat sheet. I'm going to run through this now. And then I'm going to recommend a little build that you could add to this to yourself. So, you know, what's step one? The foundation. Be specific and clear. Most common mistake is really vague prompts. AI can't read your mind. So writing something really vague like, write about climate change is going to be too broad. There's going to be too many pathways. Something more specific might be write a 500 word blog post for a general audience about the impact of climate change on coastal cities. Tone should be informative, maybe a little urgent, and should include some actionable tips for individuals. You can see there that they've, you know, in this example, specifically asking to write something of a certain length, write a blog post, which in itself is a specific type of content for a specific person. In this case, it's a general audience, but you could have a specific type of avatar in mind about not just climate change, but the impact of climate change on a coastal city. So a really specific topic, then set the tone. And we want to ensure there's actionable tips. Really specific. Here's a master version. Act as a climate scientist writing a 500 word blog post target audiences, homeowners in coastal cities aged 40 to 60. Post should explain the specific impacts of sea rise and extreme weather events on their property values, use serious tone, include a section with cost-effective actions, and end with a call to action. Now in this post, uh, or in this version, this bit at the front is really important. Act as a climate scientist. Now that means take on a role. In this case, take on the role of someone highly informed that you can trust knows this sort of stuff better than anyone in the world. And so it's going to draw on its knowledge of what a climate scientist knows in order to write a 500 blog post. It's going to get much more specific with who it's targeted in terms of age range, in this case, homeowners. So it's going to tailor content for the post. And then they've called out some really specific things that they want included and so forth. So that giving a persona is a really, really important part of writing a great prompt. And you'll see, if you look back through the history of our mastermind community, a lot of the prompts that I've used, I give my little prompt or my little gem a really specific role. Be a board member with 20 years of experience to be my executive advisor. Be a recruiter or a HR expert, you know, that can help me do uh, hiring. Anyway, this little example here, and you can plug this little prompt in yourself. A really simple one will create a little five-step course for you to learn how to prompt like a master and at the end generate a little cheat sheet, persona, task, audience, all the things that we just talked about. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. Let me know in the chat or in the comments there what you've learned about a good prompt and also any tips that you might have from your own experience of prompting Gemini. Join our free Gemini AI mastermind community, get answers, fix roadblocks, and stay ahead with Google Workspace plus AI. Links below. I'll see you inside.